Back in Avon, we are joined by senior left-hander Michael Clark, who got the start in this championship game. And Michael, same lineup you just faced a week ago. Did you have any kind of a different approach or the same exact way you approached it on senior night? Uh, it was good to see him again because I kind of knew um, who was going to do what and who was looking for what. So I approached it a little differently. This game, once it got going, it looked like it was going to be pretty low scoring. As a pitcher, do you kind of stay in the zone there and not worry about the offense and just focus on throwing up a zero? I was just trying to go pitch for pit with Pat. Pat pitched an absolute gem. Uh, hats off to him. He um, he really pitched hard, and uh, you know he he pitched great. You've been on the mound for a lot of big moments. You think back to Kentucky and Oregon, in Omaha. Were you nervous for this start? Uh, not really. Just a little bit. I try and just treat it like another game. Well, there you are. It didn't look like anybody's going to score. And as the innings mount up, pressure's on. But you got better as the game wore on. Yeah, um, I was able to get in a groove and um, getting a better feel for my pitches as the game went on. We'll talk a little bit about the at-bat by Zarley there to finally break the seal on this game. Boy. Uh, he's, he's watching. He's <laughs> listening. Huh? So proud of him. Uh, we, almost, we knew it was coming. I mean, that's Zarley for you. You know, he's just a batter that's the best guy for the situation right there, and we're just all so proud of him. You've been through this now uh, a couple times. Does it ever get tired? No, never. Dog piles never get tired. Where were you during the course of it? Uh, I was on the bottom with Sola getting buried. I felt like I had about 2,000 pounds on my right leg. I was just hoping to get out there alive. Congratulations, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you.